In 1996, Valley City State University began the Laptop Initiative, one of only three universities in the U.S. to embrace complete campus access to technology. Fast forward to 2016 and VCSU faculty and students remain committed to finding more effective ways of integrating technology to enhance teaching and learning. Open educational resources made a mark in higher education in 2002, with many efforts supported by grants from the Hewlett Foundation. Currently, the North Dakota University System and the North Dakota Legislature have teamed up to provide support and encouragement for faculty to explore OERs. Open educational resources are defined as free and open resources with Creative Commons open licenses and provide a wide variety of materials for faculty and students. These open resources may be reused, remixed, and revised to meet the needs of the students and the courses. It makes me more intentional about what I choose, so I'm not held to exactly the concepts that are in a standalone text, so if I want to explore different topics in a unit, I can find the videos that I want, I can find texts that I want them to read. Um, it allows me to really tailor the content of, of any unit that I'm teaching to the, the students I have and what happens to be going on at the time. So in a, a developmental psychology class with a lot of education majors, um, I'm not tied to what a, a standard psych textbook would have. I can go out and find things that education majors can relate to. Valley City State University is embracing these free, open resources to the benefit of both students and faculty members. During the 2015-16 school year, Valley City State is saving students nearly $82,000 by implementing OERs in many courses. The traditional college algebra text that I've been using the past few years retails for $184. The current OER text that I'm using, $0. It's a free download. As far as content goes, they align very well. In fact, the OER that I use actually has things that the traditional text does not have, like YouTube links to video lectures, free downloadable student solution manuals, and other ancillary items. What I like about this particular OER is its ability to be, um, um, my ability to integrate some of my other tools with it naturally, some of these things, the online resources that I've built. This particular OER in the HTML version has linkable pieces to something called FET, that's P-H-E-T, from Colorado, and they've got a number of simulations that things like throwing balls and like um, skate park where they can design a skate park, park and learn about the relationship between kinetic energy and potential energy and just being able to play with these uh, are, is very important and engaging. It's nice that this OER actually links directly to those so that they're working through the HMIT they can stop, click into that piece and then experiment with um, things that are making it highly engaging. Through our experiences here at Valley City State, it's become apparent that open educational resources provide new and exciting opportunities for teaching and learning. For students, the variety of media, the accessible nature of the materials, and the cost savings are significant. For faculty, courses can be infused with new life each semester. Up-to-date materials, multiple forms of media, and opportunities to share their work with others through open licensing encourage ongoing faculty scholarship and research. Faculty can truly tailor the course resources to meet the learning objectives and student needs. If I'm intentional about what I'm choosing and we're going to have class discussions, we're going to have writing assignments that are, are revolving around what I'm asking them to read and do, then they become more engaged. They know that if they're watching an hour-long film or if they're reading a, a lengthy article, that they're going to be doing something with it. And so they, they do the readings more often, they're more engaged with it, they're ready to discuss, and I've had a lot of like, success with that. VCSU Student Senate is excited about the opportunity to use OER resources in the classroom. It enhances our knowledge with technology. VCSU is a technology-based campus, and using this will help all students embrace the technology that we have already created here. It will also help with the fact that textbooks have been increasing huge amounts in the last few years. And with textbooks increasing, it causes students to have to pay more for both that as well as everything else that they have to do. So that's why VCSU Student Senate has taken a stance on the fact that we really do like OER materials. Here at Valley City State, we are a laptop university, so we are encouraged to use our laptops in class. So I think open education resources are a good way to utilize our laptops. Online it's more um, interactive and has videos than the traditional textbook. Personally, as a student, it really helps me, as well as other students that I've talked to. 
I've noticed that a lot more students are becoming more interested in it because of the cost of books these days versus the OER text, which is just online. So overall, I'd recommend OER text. Obviously, affordability is a national higher ed issue, so that's important. It ties to our strategic plan and the strategic plan of the North Dakota University system. But what's more exciting to me is that when people have equal access to course materials, teaching and learning becomes much more exciting and collaborative. If you go to a classroom and you don't have access to the same resources your peers do, then you can't participate in that classroom at the same level, and that impacts the environment for everyone. So I think we're doing really well in making headway in the affordability issue, but even more exciting, I think we're finding new and innovative ways to help our students and our faculty have really exciting teaching and learning experiences. Valley City State University appreciates the support we have received in bringing OERs to our campus, and we look forward to future opportunities of implementing more open educational resources.